twin dosing technology. Where previously one catalytic converter eliminated nitrogen oxides, this is now done using two. This results in minimum emissions. How does this work safely and in any driving situation? In the combustion chamber, exhaust gas is formed, from which harmful components are removed in the following process. The first elements are eliminated in the oxidation catalytic converter, the uncombusted fuel, the hydrocarbons, and carbon monoxide. The diesel particulate filter then retains the soot particles. But it has another job too. It also works as the first SCR catalytic converter. In conjunction with the AdBlue reducing agent, it reduces nitrogen oxides, NOx. Catalytic converters achieve their full impact at specific temperatures. In this case, it sits close to the engine, where it warms up quickly. This makes it especially efficient at low temperatures, such as after starting up or during slow city driving. If necessary, the engine can accelerate the warming up process. The second SCR catalytic converter supplies AdBlue again. It is located in the car's underbody. There, the temperature for the catalytic converter is just right when the car is warm or the engine is subject to heavy strain, such as when driving fast on the highway. This step ensures almost complete elimination of nitrogen oxides in any driving situation. In this way, both SCR catalytic converters share the task of removing nitrogen oxides from the exhaust gas with utmost efficiency. And not only on the test rig. In particular, during real-life measurement runs, the so-called RDE tests, the TDI twin dosing technology achieves excellent results. Measurements from independent institutes show that the TDI EVO drives lie well below the NOx limit values of Euro 6D. Simultaneously dynamic, economical, comfortable and clean, 